Time for a pickups video and I thought I'd show you some of the Wii games that I picked up over the last probably two or three months now and I've sort of inadvertently started collecting for the system. I've got a big stack of games here and I've just been really enjoying playing the console. What I ended up doing was going on YouTube and just looking for some videos on like the top 20 games to get for your Wii or the top 10 hidden gems of uh, Nintendo Wii, whatever and finding the ones that I thought looked interesting and then any time I'm out I'll, I'll keep an eye out for them basically and what I found is that Wii games are pretty much everywhere right now and they're dirt cheap, it, no one seems to want them you find them in charity shops and supermarkets, game stores obviously and yeah they just seem to be everywhere and it's kind of good fun to uh, go through the shelves and, and try and hunt out the, the good games and find the ones that you've never heard of before and, and check them out and because they're so cheap you can usually take a bit of a risk on them as well so what I thought I'd, I'd do is just show you some of the, the games I've uh, accumulated here uh, and yeah I'll just start at the top and work my way through so the first game I've got here is Resident Evil 4 Wii Edition and this is from what I hear just a, a port of the GameCube version but this is meant to be even better I think they've added in a few extra features like widescreen mode and all that sort of thing but uh, yeah, as you can see, or as you'd expect, it uses the uh, the Wii's controllers to uh, control the game, obviously. But uh, I think it's, it's meant to add a whole new element to the gameplay, and it's meant to be a lot of fun. So, yeah, I got that one there. That one cost me £4, and I got it from Amazon. It was used. The next game I got here was Disney Epic Mickey, and I've never been a huge Disney fan, and I'm not really a big Mickey Mouse fan either. But this is a 3D platformer and it's meant to be one of the best on the system. It's really well made, I've played about two hours of it so far. And uh, yeah, this is probably the most expensive game I got in this whole uh, pile here. This was £6, which I know that's not really that much, but when you're talking about Wii games, most of them are about 2 or £3 each. But yeah, this is a good game, I've been enjoying playing it. It's a 3D platformer, like I said, and it makes good use of the, the Wii controller. The next game I've got here is Mushroom Men, The Spore Wars, and again this is another 3D platformer. Uh, this only cost me £3. Um, again, well made platformer. This is meant to be one of the uh, the best games on the, the Wii, or it's meant to be at least a, a hidden gem. It's got a, a really nice art style to it, sort of like 1950s B-movie theme going on to it. You can probably see there in the, the cover, but uh, yeah. I'm going to be enjoying playing that one. The next game here is Speed Racer, the video game, and you might think oh, it's just going to be a, a movie tie-in. Not very good, but it's actually a lot of fun. I'm probably one of the, the games I've been playing the most out of this whole bundle. It says £5 here. I think I paid like 4 for it because I had a discount or whatever. But It's a racing game. Sort of a, a mix between Wipeout and Burnout. It's got a visual style. These aren't really screenshots, but they give you an idea of the the art style in the game. Sort of looks like Wipeout and you play it in the style of Burnout where you have to knock your opponents off the, the track to get speed up, uh, speed ups, boosters and all this kind of stuff uh, and you really need to be aggressive to win the races so yeah kind of like Burnout in that sense. The next one I've got here is Red Steel and this I've heard mixed reviews about. It's sort of like a first person hack and slash uh, shooter and one of the common complaints I hear about this one is that the controls aren't very good. I only paid 99 pence for this one, you can see that there. Uh, so I thought, well, it's worth taking a chance on. I really want to get the sequel to this because the sequel is meant to be a very good game. And visually, it looks a bit dated. It's, uh, you know, it looks very last gen. And uh, the gameplay I've heard isn't that great. So we'll see if that one's any good or not. But I do want to pick up the, the sequel to it. Uh, yeah, that was like 99 pence, so... This one here, the Blob, this I paid £2 delivered from, uh, I think it was Game, it's a Game Security sticker on it. This is a really colourful game where you have to go around, and I think you play as the, the Blob guy here, you have to go around the, this oppressed world and bring back colour to the uh, the people of this world or whatever, I'm not, I'm not too sure what the story's about, but... Yeah, this looks good. Again, this is another one I want to pick up the, the sequel to because I've heard that's even better than the first. This one here, Little King's Story. Again, this is another highly regarded game for the system. It's sort of like a, a Pikmin style game where you're 
Um, sort of like a, a real time strategy, but it's got RPG elements to it as well. Not really my kind of art style, but I mean I've heard the gameplay's very good. Uh, I think I paid. I think I did pay five pounds for this. It wasn't any cheaper, but uh, apparently the the quality of the game is is well worth that. So there you go. Can't really give you a good <laughs> look at the the screenshots there, but yeah, looking forward to checking that one out. This one here I took a bit of a chance on and it didn't really pay off. This is Blastworks Build, Trade and Destroy. And I saw this on the shelf in the shop and I thought, oh, that looks kind of interesting. You've got this sort of um, pixel art going on in the cover there. And it was only £2 and I read the back and it said it was a, a side-scrolling shoot em up And I thought, yeah, well you can't go wrong for £2. But it turns out I was wrong. It's really not that great. The art style in the game is very basic and it doesn't look that great. The gameplay itself, you you fly around in your little ship and you shoot down the enemies but when you shoot the enemies they start falling to the earth and this is actually the ship here so by the end of the by the end of the level you've picked up all the enemies you've, you've killed and uh, you, you basically look like this flying scrapyard and it, it just doesn't look right and doesn't play that great either so this is probably going to be the one of the ones that I sell on the next one here, Metroid Other M and Metroid game obviously, I'm sure many of you are aware of what this is all about you get a bit of a backstory to Samus here um, it's got elements of 2D side-scrolling uh, platforming uh, which is kind of like from a third person perspective as well it's kind of difficult to explain that but yeah and it's also got first person shooter elements to it as well you play it uh, you play it in the side-scrolling platformer way with the, the controller on its side like the old NES controller and then you point at the TV to bring up this first person perspective uh, for shooting as well so yeah played about two hours of this one it's a little boring I'm not really getting into it that well, that much I don't really care about the, the story it's not that engaging and the whole platforming thing is it's, it's really nothing new so I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this one or, or trade it on but it, it's still good it's a really well made game uh, saying that, but yeah, here's another one Rockstar Table Tennis and Ping Pong Pong game Table Tennis, perfectly, a yeah, perfect suit for the a perfect match for the uh, the Nintendo Wii given the, the controller I was going to get this for the, the 360 originally but I saw this one for £2 in the Wii and I thought yeah that's worth picking up, not played it yet but I'll get around to it eventually Cursed Mountain this is meant to be sort of like a, an old school horror survival game, kind of like uh, the older Resident Evil games and uh, you go around this mountain, I think you're searching for your brother or something and you have to try and find him, work out what's going on and you're being chased by spirits or demons or something. Looks really interesting and this one I think was only £3 I'm going to say, £3 second hand from game, so I got that one. Uh, Trauma Center, New Blood, this is a game by Atlas. Again, this cost me, I think, two or three pounds from HMV. They were getting rid of all their games, so I'll pick this one up. It's, I'm sure most of you are aware of the Trauma Center games. It's sort of like a, a surgeon simulator, mini game sort of games. But yeah, it's by Atlas. It should be good. I played some of the other uh, Trauma Center games, I think, on the DS. I kind of enjoyed them. And finally, I got uh, this one here, Mad Dog McCree. I've had my eye on this one for quite a while. This was a, about £5, I think. And yeah, I thought, yeah, it's worth picking up. It's old school, full motion video, on rail shooter, really cheesy, really funny. And I, I used to play this on my friend's Mega CD back in the day. And, I really wanted to, to play it again in the Wii, so I picked that one up. That was probably another expensive one. That was like £5. Yeah, expensive £5 in the Wii. But there you go, that's my stack of Wii games that I've got at the moment. I'd be really interested to hear if anyone's got any suggestions on what games I should be looking to pick up. I've got a few more um, on the shelf already, but uh, I'm not a huge fan of RPGs, at least not on the Wii anyway, and I've never been a huge fan of the... Uh, the Mario or Zelda games, I know it's shocking to hear playing, uh, wanting to find out what games are good for a Nintendo system but yeah I've never really been interested in Mario or Zelda so 
Yeah, anyone's got any suggestions, let me know. I'd love to, to hear them. If you've got any hidden gems in the, the console you, you think I should be picking up, then let me know. But there you go. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you again soon.